Okay, this is my finished 5 by Cinco de Mayo update number one. I started this project a little late. I started it at the beginning of March. So for me, I only have two months for these products. But let's get into them. I do have one finished product, and this is the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Tinted Moisturizer. And this one does not have a shade on it, so I guess there's only one shade. If you can see it though, it's actually really dark. This was way too dark and way too orange for me. And so I tried to mix it with moisturizer and also with foundation, but I found that it made my face look really oily. So I pretty much finished this in like a one shot. I I was outside stripping paint off chairs, so I just put this all over my face and arms, like basically wherever my skin was exposed, and I finished it that way. So I just kind of went through this quickly. I was wearing one of those masks that you put over uh, your nose and mouth uh, because I was also sanding. And when I pulled it away, it was like bright orange from this. So I would not consider getting this again. This was a sample from probably Ipsy. And I'll figure out if it has any value and put that right there. And then my next products were three lotions. I did finish one of those. I finished this Sweet on Paris lotion from Bath and Body Works. There's just a little bit on the back there that I can't get out. It's a little warped. I actually took the hair dryer to it to melt some of the lotion to get more of it out and it kind of warped the bottom. I really did like this scent. If they ever put this out again, I would get this again. I don't even really like their lotion, but I really like this scent. And this was $3.50. I have not started this one at all. This one is Dark Kiss. And I did work on this one. I've been a little lazy, so I'm only about right there. It's actually a little bit further down than where the lotion is on the bottle when you look in. So I'm kind of guessing it's right there. If I actually am diligent about this, I should finish this uh, this week. So I can move on to this one. Then my next product is the Urban Decay Lip Junkie Lip Gloss in Naked. And I started at that top line and I'm right here. I was kind of lazy with this. I did not use this for most of the month, but I have been using it pretty frequently. In the last two weeks, I've got it on today over the lipstick that I'm wearing. So if I am really diligent about this one as well, I should be able to finish this up. Then my next product was the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. And I am right there. I don't use this as an all over mask. I pretty much only use it in my T-zone. And then I wipe off the excess anywhere else, like back here where I have any breakouts or up further on my forehead. So I don't use it as quickly as, you know, if I did the whole face, but I should be able to finish that with a couple uses. The last thing for this project is a bunch of mini samples. I had I had 11 samples in my little container and I have finished three of them so far. My goal is to finish four of them by the end of this project, basically one every two weeks. I finished this Harajuku Lovers perfume in baby. Ooh, the lights go crazy. It's the morning and the sun keeps coming in and out because I'm on an east facing window. When I finished the Harajuku Lovers in Baby and I didn't love this. It didn't really leave much of an impression. Like I didn't hate it but 
it, I, I felt like it didn't last all that long and I didn't really love the scent or miss it when it was gone so I would not get that unless they were really cheap and they had the actual bottles because those bottles are adorable but it would basically only be for the bottle then I had the Someday by Justin Bieber perfume and the thing about this one is I actually really like this one and I liked it for a while, but it was one of those things like I never wanted to buy it and wear it and have somebody ask me what perfume I was wearing and have to go, oh, Someday by Justin Bieber. No. So I don't think I'd ever buy that, but I actually really do like the scent of that one. And then I have this little tiny one, and this is Outspoken by Fergie, and it was like from Avon. And it's actually... I get a bit smaller in size than the the other ones but I actually really did like this too so I might have to check out Avon and see if they have this I actually saw an ad on Facebook randomly that said there was a different outspoken something by Fergie like it was it was not the original it was like some other one so they may still have that one, and I might actually get that, because Avon is not that expensive. So I might actually get that. Uh, not this month. I'm going to no buy this month, but next month maybe, once I finish these other ones. I am going to throw out this Aqualina Pink Sugar. It's not that I don't like it, but it's gone bad. It smells like alcohol only. Yeah, it basically smells like rubbing alcohol. So it's obviously gone bad, so I'm tossing that one. And I do have three others that I'm in the process of using, and I'm pouring them all into these little things. I actually got the idea from Cherish at Pretty Pistol 86. Uh, these came from Sally's. I had been looking for something like that for a while without you know having to buy in bulk on Amazon and I was thinking art supply stores would have that because you know people make their own fragrances wouldn't you want that kind of thing but I could never find any and then I saw some video of hers like a couple months ago where she mentioned getting those from Sally's and they're they're in that rack where they have like a bunch of empty bottles so I bought a couple of those I bought probably more than I needed because I don't know how to clean them to get the other scent out. So if anyone knows how to clean those kind of things or an atomizer, because I do have one of those too that I haven't used because I don't know how to clean it. <laughs> so, you know, let me know if you know how to clean those. But the perfumes that I'm currently working on are the Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. And so far I don't love this one. Uh, this Lil Angel Harajuku Lovers perfume, and I don't love that one either. And then this little one that came from Ipsy, uh, I think it's called White Witch, and I think the company is called Dark Star. It feels a little oily though, so I kind of don't want to wear it anywhere, but I may do it like someday when I don't have to go anywhere. Because it, it just, like, it seems kind of oily like, in there, not quite so liquid right there. And I actually got that because this particular scent was supposed to be based off, you know, like this inspired by a character in something. And it was inspired by some character in the, I think it was Wheatsy Bat books from Francesca Leah Block, which are some of my favorite. So... I did buy this, but, you know, it feels really oily, so I don't really want to use it, but I will. Hopefully, I'll finish all those. I only have four more, like, unused ones left. Uh, three of them are the Harajuku Lovers. I have G, Music, and Love there. 
and then this one is my one that has no writing on it which really sucks actually because I like the smell of this like I took the top off and smelled it and I really do like it if anyone knows a place where I can go and like take this and see if they can match it for me you know <laughs> I don't know if such a place exists but if it does you know let me know and I I want to go see what this is because I actually really do like it sorry for the weird lighting it's weird I've got like spots on my face now let me move up a little bit yeah, okay that is everything for my finished 5 by Cinco de Mayo update number one I'll be back next month with my finale but I will talk to you guys later bye